My name is Michael Ladin. I am currently traveling more than 220,000 miles around the world on board my 2002 Storton Stevenson Overland Expedition Rig and KTM Adventure Bike. This is my story. Guys, today I'm installing the Akuva Aeromax 2.0, and that is my onboard um, water filtration system. So it uses UV LED light uh, to kill 99.9% .9 of anything that's bad in water, uh, which is nice. In theory, you can drink out of a swamp. Uh, I have not tried that yet, but um, it consists of this unit, which is the LED light in it. And there's a, uh, take that off the wall, there's a uh, water filter, um, which does, uh, is for taste mostly, uh, chlorine, taste, odor, lead, all that kind of stuff. So it goes, the water basically comes off of the uh, main line, goes through that filter, runs through this uh, thing. And uh, so I'm gonna duct it all in and pipe it underneath here. There's a few little fittings and some pre-filters, and here's the, uh, the T that I don't have with the water shut off. And then I'll show you in a minute uh, where it comes out up top. Everything is mounted on the wall here, all hooked up. That's the disconnect for the Akuva. So I'm gonna turn it on and see if we got any leaks. No, I don't see any leaks. Up here is the faucet. This is where the uh, filter water comes out of. Um, I do not have the electric cooked up for it yet, so it's not actually LED filtering. So if it was, the blue light ring around here turns on, and that's your indication that it is filtering the water. So if I turn on this as the water comes through the line, and there it is. So nice and charcoal looking. But that's the filter water is going to come out of that. All right, so hooking up the uh, Dometic uh, cassette toilet. And I chose to go with the cassette over the uh, uh, the other kinds of toilets, incinerator and uh, composting. I just think it's easier. This is about an eight gallon supply. This is the back of it right here. And normally you would uh, put a trap door on the outside of your rig and it would pull out from the outside. That's right here is the, uh, the tank. But I just, it's easier to just pull it out here into the kitchen and out and I'll put a trap door. So I am, uh, this particular toilet has a water hookup, which is nice because it hooks to your regular tank. And this is a vent that I just drilled down through the bottom of the truck to vent it. And then it's got electric, it's electric flush. So um, very powerful toilet, not available in the United States for some unknown reason. I had to buy it in Australia and have it shipped over here. But that's what we're doing today. This is the last thing I have to plumb in and the plumbing will be all set. Okay. We are now making the fridge slide out of a, um, uh, the slide is from Tempo Tusk and these Atlas Metalworks made me uh, L brackets basically, big ones, to mount the IKEA face plates on them. And then uh, these are 3 8 thickness, so they're pretty good and solid and rigid, made out of aluminum. And this right here is the drawer faces, so they're going to get glued and screwed onto the front of this. So a significant upgrade 
from my last truck where it was IKEA and it was pretty flimsy. So these are some heavy duty free slide tumble tools. center straps so we haven't bolted this to the floor yet but as you can see it's gonna be nice <laughs> well we can never have an angle that was good so it should be easy because it's going into the rubber floor so I don't understand why I did that in the midst of a like basically a three-day wiring project and I got my buddy Daniel here and uh, we have been at it we are wiring in solar we're wiring in batteries we're wiring in all the 12 volt you can see uh, up above here that is what it's all looking like uh, one big I don't know how, how many how, how much wire do you think we got into this thing <laughs> feels, feels like a lot um, <laughs> We have a lot. We have like a mile of wire at least in here alone. Yeah, it's uh, and, and and by the way, just for the record, if it takes 20 minutes, uh, I should say if, if we tell you it takes 20 minutes, what's that mean? Eh, like five hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon supporters. And if you're interested in exclusive behind the scenes content, be sure to check me out on Patreon.com. Okay. Hot again. Well, we have. We got green lights on one solar. Interesting. I wonder why we don't have green lights on the other two. Hold on. I, I, I need to connect more. Oh, that could be yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. I'm only... Thank you so much to all my build partners involved in Project Baobab. This would not have happened without you. And you'll be hearing a lot more about their products and services coming up in this series. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.